In this video, I'm going to talk about basic candlestick analysis. If this video feels too basic to you, if you think you've seen all this before, please don't skip it. I'm going to be introducing you to a lot of terms and concepts that I will tie into the more advanced lessons later. So if you skip this, you may be a little lost later. Be sure to have a document open or pen and paper handy to take notes. And let's get started with some candlestick basics. The first thing I'd like you to do is to look at this list of candles. You've probably seen something like this before, right? Well, if you have, try your best to forget it. Try your best to forget all of that stuff. Forget that this is a doji and that that is a morning star. Forget that these are reversal candles because they aren't. I need you to forget all that general candlestick knowledge that you have seen around because I want to take you right to the starting point of a new candle and I want to teach you how to view candles differently. So what is this thing? Well, this is a brand new baby candle. It was born less than a second ago and it has yet to move a single pip in either direction. This candle is completely neutral. But in about four hours, when this candle closes, it will have told us what price did in the last four hours. If this candle moves up a little, then drops down fast and closes like this, it's a bearish candle. It means sellers had overall control of price. This is the candle's story. It shows us that sellers won the struggle with buyers and they push price down. If instead price had pushed up and closed up here, we can conclude that buyers won their struggle against sellers. So buyers are in control. So that's the story of this candle. When we see a whole series of these candles lined up, it means that price is trending and that buyers have control of price for a long period of time. Each of these candles is a four hour candle. So these candles show bullish control for 40 hours. And essentially this is what price action is. Price action is the struggle between buyers and sellers, bulls and bears. Whenever price is moving, the two opposing forces, buyers and sellers are struggling for control. Sellers are struggling to drive price down. Buyers are struggling to drive price up. This is why when you look at a bearish trend like this one here, you're going to notice little wicks pointing up as price drops. These wicks indicate that buyers were struggling for control of price the whole way down. Obviously sellers had control for the majority of the time because price was trending down. However, they did not have complete control. The whole time buyers were finding hard to regain control and at some point they will. Eventually you're going to see a certain type of candle that will show you that sellers are losing power and buyers will start to fight for control. Sellers won't be able to counter them as effectively anymore and price will reverse. Candles that generally indicate that sellers, in this case, are losing control are what I call indecision. These are the types of candles you may know as reversal candles. And I hate that name, reversal candles. I hate that name. These candles do not indicate a reversal is coming. They simply tell us that sellers are losing power and buyers are gaining power. So now, instead of sellers pushing price down, power between buyers and sellers is somewhat equalizing. So price cannot move up or down by a significant amount. That's why we're seeing indecision. And that's what this is. It is just indecision. So we started with a nice, strong, bearish trend. Sellers had control of price. They drove price down for 10 candles. Then all of a sudden, sellers started losing control of price. They can no longer push price down. Buyers start fighting back. These candles indicate that this trend might end right here. If buyers gain control, they can reverse price. However, sellers can also regain control and continue pushing price down. In this case, price did in fact reverse. So what happened here? After this short period of indecision, sellers lost control of price, buyers gained control, so buyers started pushing price up and a reversal occurred. This is how you need to view price action. You need to view price action as a constant struggle between buyers and sellers. When you look at an individual candlestick, you should look at it as a story, a story of the struggle between buyers and sellers. By reading the candlestick properly, you are reading the story and you are gaining valuable information about what price is doing and what it might do next. When you look at an entire chart, you can view that story as a whole. You can read the candles and understand what they tell you about price. 
this information is viral because you know what price action is doing right now. And if you know what price action is doing right now, you can predict with a high degree of accuracy what price is going to do next. Like I said, I call this making an educated guess. You can make an educated guess as to what price will do next. So when buyers trend up to here, they reach this point. We have an extended period of indecision. I can make an educated guess that buyers are losing control of price and that price might reverse. To help you make that educated guess, you need to think about candles in stages. And that's what I'm going to be showing you in the next video.